it's Saturday. Happy Saturday. Uh, I'm at Sam here. Hi. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got the girls here too. They're getting ready to go. We are going out. Um, we're getting ready now? We're going someplace super fun today. We have Kaylee. Are we, get, are we getting changed? Uh, yes. We are going someplace really fun. We have Kaylee here. This is like Kaylee's thing and we're all going to go do it together but before we go i'm going down to uh, see the horses i have something fun that i've been dying to do with them so we're going to go do that okay. and then we're going to go and do something fun you guys should know it is the coldest day we've had so far this winter it's really cold can't see it can you guys see it uh, the, the the frost coming from our mouths anyways it's really cold. So that they can tell me, will tell us what the person they are. I can't even see the thermometer. It's like, it's really cold. It's minus 20 in Canada Celsius. Minus 20 Celsius without the wind chill. But it's minus 13 in the US, if that makes sense. Really cold. It's really cold. Anyway, we're headed out someplace. It is COVID central out there too, like so bad. Oh, they're almost out of treats. COVID is so bad right now. Uh, last year, nobody I knew had COVID. This new strain is not as dangerous. Not as many people are getting like really sick and stuff, but people are still getting sick and we don't want COVID because we have horses. We don't want to be like locked away for 10 days. So we're trying to like keep it cool. Oh look, there's your cat, get him. So there's not like a lot of things that we can do right now. We can like go to the barn and be with our horses. Be with, be with certain people and that kind of thing. But we can't just like go shopping. Oh, well I gave you food, buddy. Hello. We can't just like go to the mall. We can't just go, we can't just Before go we like. Go the arena, can I say something? Sure, say something, Sophie. Okay. So what kind of person in winter are you the person that acts like she has never been in winter before or the person who just wears a sweater yeah dumb people wear just wear sweaters <laughs> anyway the other day we showed you guys a video where um we let our dogs react to certain sounds to see if they had any kind of reaction and i've been dying to do this because with penny music relaxes her i've like shared music with penny so many times and she loves it come on pen come on penny pickle come on <laughs> come on princess come on <laughs> there's nothing better in life than calling your horse and seeing her pop her head around the corner see if she comes come on sweet princess don't run don't run it's slippery <laughs> come on love ah i just love me a good pony oh, look, <laughs> there goes a running pony all right yes i see your cat hi pen <laughs> hello hello okay so anyway i wanted to put a Put it to the test. If you guys saw, we did this with our dogs the other day. Um, there have been studies that show that horses actually do enjoy music, that they like classical mu music and they don't like rock, they don't like jazz music. They say that they get stressed out when they hear that kind of music. So we're gonna put it to the test and see what kind of music our horses like. She loves it. I can tell she loves it. Guys, I could see this putting her to sleep. You like it, Penny Pickle? She dropped her head. She's relaxed. She's listening. Aww. I love it. Can you guys see? How relaxed she is. It almost makes me want to cry because I can feel her emotions. I can feel that she's like 
emotional about it. All right, if you guys don't believe and you're not trusting that she's like relaxed and loving this music, I'm gonna try rock music and see what happens. You guys see? See her reaction? Do you love it, Penny Pickle? So obviously that had like such a positive reaction from her. And so they say that rock music and jazz music, they don't like that it, it stresses them out. Maybe I should play jazz music, but let's try some rock music. I turn the music off and she's starting to come back into the arena. Come on, Penny. Wait, we need to do this in crazy. Come on, Pen. Penny, I feel like Penny's our most like expressive horse. Come on. Being a sensitive horse is sometimes bad, but sometimes good because they are they express themselves so much better. Anyway, I played the rock music. I might have to dub out the music, but I played the rock music and she like pinned her ears and just like walked out. She's like, nope, I am not handling this. Good girl. No animal sounds. All right. So, you my <laughs> she does not like this pony. So anyways, that was interesting. It wasn't like a very good study. It wasn't like a professional study I carried out, but you could see the difference in her reaction. Like I could tell instantly she loved the, the soft music and instantly she did not like the, the rock music. So now Sophie wants to try animal sounds and see what happens. Oh, look at my coat. Okay, so now we're going to use animal sounds and see if they like them. She's interested. It's a cow, Pen. She doesn't mind animal sounds, farm animal sounds. So I feel like she's remembering. Can I pick up the sound? Yeah, you pick a sound. Oh, my girl is so sweet, yeah. I actually felt like I was gonna cry there for a minute when I played the classical music and Penny was listening to it and she really enjoyed it. And the reason is, is because I always feel like, I know a lot of you guys will think I'm wrong, but I always feel like in heaven, we have the most, in heaven there's the most beautiful music of all. And so sometimes when I hear music that reminds my spirit of heaven, it makes me feel teary because like almost like I yearn for something that I miss. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. And I feel like that's what Penny was doing with the, with the music. But anyway, okay, so Sophie picked, Sophie picked some sounds. Let's see what happens. It's Let me get out of the way. Sound. One sound. It's a horse. Uh -oh. <laughs> that horse is saying something Penny does not want to hear. Uh oh. Penny's a runner, not a fighter. Willow's like, I'll take it on. She's like, that is not a horse, Laura. <laughs> Aww. Feels mean to do this. Willow's shaking. Is it a stallion? I don't know, but there's 10 minutes of it. Come on! Come find the horse! Come on! <laughs> Willow's like, oh, come, Laura! <laughs> Willow's so spicy. She's like, bring me that horse! I need to teach it a lesson! <laughs> oh! You like that one? Oh. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to make
make anybody run, so I'm gonna cool it with the horse sounds, but obviously horses have no, their own communication, their own words, and Penny was responding. Oh, how fat oh, he is. I know, he's not fat. Sophie, he's fluffy. He's so fluffy. You're so fluffy. It's cold. It's cold in my cold hand. Yeah, cold. it's really cold tonight. We gotta make him a warmer bed maybe. Turn on his heating mat. It's, it's so cold. Maybe just bring him inside. I want him to be an indoor cat. So the reason why I don't want an indoor cat is I feel like it's not fair to cats because we have three dogs. Because we have a lot of dogs and our cats are all, like all our cats so far have all been afraid of our dogs because all of our dogs are interested in cats. They don't just ignore them and be kind and sweet. <laughs> Sam already has this mat already out, sitting out here. We should like put it in something so he's warm and can cuddle up. But yeah, it's on and he has his mat out so that the kitty will be warm. Alright, so we can't go any place. We can't do anything with big crowds. We can't like have fun. Horseback riding is too cold for the horses and for us. We don't want to make them be breathing in this arctic air. So we're going to have fun with the kids. Let them do something that's kind of private. Something that they can do to maintain social distancing. I have on my, what's this thing called Sam? Scarf. No, not a scarf. No, Kaylee, thanks. Not a headband. This blanket that you wear. It's like, uh, do you remember what it is? No, it's Sam bought it for us for Christmas last year. It's, what's it called? Sherpa. Sherpa? Uh, there's a tag on it somewhere. You know, those blankets that, it's a blanket. Sam buys all the warm stuff. Blanket hoodie? It's a blanket hoodie. You guys know what it is. Anyway. I have it on underneath my coat. I'm gonna try and use it. And I've always wondered if it will keep me warm. So today's the day I'm gonna find out. Because this thing is, this thing that we're gonna do, this thing that we're gonna do is actually outside so we can social distance. Okay, so we're placing our bets on who's gonna fall first. Is it gonna be me, the ex figure skater of eight years who had a bad fall and hasn't skated since then? Or Gabby, who what doesn't you? skate, who never learned how to skate? I was a skating coach for like uh, four of those years. Okay, so we never told them we're going skating. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, we're going Hi. skating. Who do you think is going to fall first? Me. I don't think anybody's going to fall. I don't think anybody's going to fall. But Kaylee, did you actually quit skating after a fall? Because you yeah. were scared? Well, I was doing an axle and I scared myself out of it because I saw someone coming towards me and I opened up and then I fell on my head. And then a day later, I broke my shoulder. I, I got right back on the horse, but I couldn't get back on the ice. So is this your first time? This is not your first time skating? Since I went skating last year on a pond in hockey skates, and I fell right on my butt. <laughs> but we don't talk about that. And I haven't <laughs> skated in figure skates in three years, but we have the OG skates. Should we make her wear a bubble wrap and a helmet? Yeah, yeah, because every time Kaylee's with us, she gets hurt. We didn't bring a helmet. And then, and then, and then her dad never lets us live it down. Okay, Gabby, how do you feel about your confidence level? You know what? I will hold on to Kaylee. <laughs> no. You get on the ice first. I'll I, I need I need some time to figure out what I'm doing. They have pylons there if you guys need to hold on to them. Huge, giant ones. All right, so you guys know that Gail Kaylee hasn't skated for a while, and Gabby doesn't skate really. She just skated for the first time. Well, she skated a lot when she was little, but she never got really good at it. And then, so last year was her first official. No one of them. Anyway, basically, we picked a really private time when there were no people here, so they wouldn't be embarrassed. Just joking. The place is packed. Packed. There they go. I'm not going out until it gets cold. I mean, I'm not going out until they're all ready to go. <laughs> I just saw somebody fall. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening. All right, Kaylee, you're first. You're up first. Get out there, Kaylee. Show them how it's done. <laughs> the other way, the other way. Keep it. Okay. Whoa. Come on, guys. She didn't fall. Too much, rust on my oh. <laughs> Too much rust on her skates holding her up. Oh. Gabby's getting help from dad. <laughs> no, Dear old dad. Ski shoes. 
Okay. So there's another rink over there. We're full of boys. I just don't get on the ice. All right, All right go. Oh, Kaylee's doing twirls. Yeah, well, good for her. It stops me. <laughs> well, there are it. I'm good. There are rinks everywhere. All right, skate. How bad is it? How bad is the rough? Not very bad. Mine are rusty. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to wait here for a second. No, come on. Let's see what happen. Kaylee's standing. Oh, does that actually happen? Yeah. All right, Gabby, get moving. <laughs> she just makes us fall. Oh, that hurts. I'm shaking because of the cold. It's really cold. Kaylee's running fast as she can. I'm trying to get the rust off. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm oh my god. Yeah, I swear to God. Don't. That was mean. That is I said okay. I got really rusty. Gabby can actually skate pretty good. I Make her skate. Pylon. Just go. I need my pylon. <laughs> Just go. I'll find a boy to drag you around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gabby's like, yeah, I'll find me a boy. Come on. Oh no, I was talking to Sophia. Go, go. Okay, we're holding hands like a couple. All right, go. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee just drops her. <laughs> there we go. Just go, you'll be fine. Come on. It... Go around that. That is not. I know that. All right, go. Well, I almost fell, so hold on. Let me turn around. Okay. Are you going to sit backwards? She can do it. Come on, if you guys graduate, you can go to the next bigger kid ring. Oh. The bigger kid ring looks smoother. Yeah, but they all know So how there's to skate. another one over there. They all know how to skate. I'm good. Well, get over. Get going. Kaylee. Come on, you want me to walk on there and hold your hand? No. And she almost said yes. <laughs> she almost said yes. Yeah, she really she wants me to. She's just no, embarrassed. and she's trying it. At least her knees are already ripped. <laughs> so if she falls, she won't rip her jeans. Teach her how to skate backwards, Kaylee.
And all the boys are coming. So, there's all these boys here. All these boys here. Gabby's never been they around boys. Trip. She said all she can smell when they go by is their trip. colognes. And it makes me ask the question, when you go to play hockey or skate, you dose up in cologne? Is that a boy thing? Is that what boys do? I need my cousins here to teach me. I broke it. <laughs> you broke it. I was skating and my foot sunk down. And it snapped underneath me. Oh, the ice? Kaylee broke the ice. Don't you know that